Hi, uh, this is Martin again, and today I'm going to show you how to add students to the classroom that you've created. So if you haven't watched a video about how to create a classroom, I suggest you, you watch that video so that way you're able to know exactly how to create a classroom prior to this video. If you know how to, well, this is a great video on how to add a student. It's extremely easy to add a student, so let's start right now and uh, let's add a student to our classroom. So um, uh, we are presently in the main page again of GHM Academy. This is where the bookstore is. We're going to make our way into a classroom that already exists. So I'm going to pick my classroom, Martin 2. And I have two ways I can actually create a student in my classroom. One, I can share to a student this code, which I'm going to show you a little later how that works. And or, and or, I can use the user here um, and then I'm able to add a user. So I can basically create a user by uh, simply adding their name. So I would want to add a real name because I want to be able to find them later on. So there, from here, I'm going to add a last name. And since I'm already in this system, I'm going to add a little more information. This way I know that it won't say it's a duplicated name because this is the usernames. The usernames have to be unique for each one. Plus I'm going to add the password. Now the password I would suggest to copy it, paste it if you want to do it this way and give it to your students. This is also a great way if ever your student loses their information, you can come back here and recreate a new password and share it with them. So I'm going to save this and then from here, my new user has appeared. There you go. That's as simple as that. I'm going to save this, this information and boom, I have a new user. I can actually move him from one classroom to another if I want to. I have other classrooms I can move him into. Well, I will not do that right now, but um, that is it for that. Now, if uh, you share the user code with your students, you need to go into your classroom that you had. And this is Martin too. You copy the code. And then for this sake, I will log out of my account and then I will go to create a new account, a free account. From here, my, I will pick I am a student with a classroom code, which is exactly what I have. So you could tell that to your students and then they would basically paste the classroom code right here, put their user name, and of course, I'm going to write a little more so that it is uh, different. Do not use accents or uh, special characters. Please stay with letters and numbers. And then of course, you would always want their name. So that way you will be able to know which one it is. Then they create a password. Again, same conditions, no special characters, please. Um, always letters or numbers. And then you basically click, I am not a robot. And of course, it's going to ask me to verify this. And hopefully I did it right, and I did. And there you go, my account is created. And as you notice, I have um, one lesson only, not a whole bunch of lessons. This lesson was actually added when I was doing my Create a Classroom video. So this is the one I have access to. As a um, administrator or teacher, you can literally modify that if you want to. Uh, you can change it and add it, but that is um, seen in another video. So that's it. Simple as that. Now you know how to add a student to your classroom. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our MPO channel and also like this video. See you soon. Take care.